Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Man, if you guys have been paying attention to uh, the weather lately, you guys will know that it has been very up and down across the country. Here in Min Minnesota, Twin Cities, Minnesota. Wow, it has been just so up and down. Today we have uh, 60 degrees. Uh, we'll hit about 65 maybe. Uh, I already went on about a 150 mile motorcycle ride this morning. I gotta get back to school. Um, but more importantly, you know, I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about, uh, sorry, still driving, gotta, gotta watch the road. So I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys about, uh, you know, how we're working our program and what, what that looks like. And you guys don't get hung up on, on the small things or the things that are going to give you a challenge. You know, some of these challenges that we have, well, the majority of challenges that we get in our life are going to be obviously tests, they're going to be trials, they're going to be, you know, uh, hard strife, tribulations, and uh, struggles. But it's, it's how we approach those struggles and what our mindset is when we come into those struggles because a lot of times those have been the trigger or, or the, uh, the, the event, if you will, that sends us back into a spiral. So if for some reason we come up against a situation that's out of our control, that we have no control over personally, which are a lot of things in our lives, we have to experience a certain amount of uh, contentment, right, to, to, to know that it's out of our control. So I think a lot of times when we were using drinking and drugging and stinking thinking in a bad way, I think a lot of the times that we, what would happen is we would come up against a struggle or a strife or a tribulation or a hard time, a pressing test, right? And we'll fold. We'll be like, eh, it's just not worth it. I, I, it just seems too hard. And before you even come up against the challenge, you, you either drink or you drug or you come into a bad way because you don't think you have what it takes to get on that train and keep moving forward and blast through these things, right? Blast through those hurdles. Don't even jump them over. Just plow right through them because you're better than that, you guys. We don't want to stop at the hurdle and stop and look at it and wonder if we can make it over or, or you know, at least try. At least make an attempt, right? to try. Amen. It's all we can do, my brothers and sisters. I see a motorcycle coming up, getting onto the highway, and I just can't wait for riding season. It's it. That's where it's at. Sorry, I got distracted. So, when we come up against these times and these hurdles, these struggles, these strives, we get to fold like an accordion and, and end up in the fetal position and cry and for me, woe is me. Yeah, we'll do that sometimes, but pull yourself up and out of that and get your britches tight. Get them tight and right so you guys can maintain frame. Amen. Maintain that frame. And live for live for recovery. Get into it one day at a time. If you failed yesterday, today is a new day. If you failed today, take it minute by minute, day to day, hour to hour, second to second, my friend. You can do this. I love you.